in Malaysia is around midnight on the 29th going on to the 30th of June 2013 in 5 minutes time and this is my MSI box it is quite big I see one two and almost three of my length between my thumb and my pinky it's quite thick as well so when you I saw the guy I R E or R V or something what's his name sorry uh, his name is was no R E yes R E so the guy took the box opened it up opened this MSI and this GX seventy three B E is from Klang and I don't want to show you my serial number on the side there on this side around here so he opened it up and this box is very very heavy sorry if I if you can't hear me because I'm not like talking at my full voice full baritone voice and as I will go I'm gonna have to open this box as soon as possible so I can get to what's inside. So what's inside? I'm gonna show it to you. Let's open it up. Firstly. not a laptop book where you have a strap on but this is a full fledged hopefully a 17 inch backpack where there is will you can put it on your shoulders both of your shoulders which is much better compared to the laptop bags that you get with one shoulder strap this is a normal backpack which is good it should be cheap it should be a quite a cheap thing so it's almost the length or the height of the box. Yep, almost the length. Should be okay. And size comparison. Yep, as big, almost not as big as the box, but slightly. The laptop is not that that uh, that long. As you and I, sh I will show it to you. Sorry for being a bit incoherent because I am quite tired. Very tired. It's close to midnight. And here we have the box. Oh shit, this is fucking heavy. It is very, very heavy. So this box is empty now. This is just to protect what's inside, which is the, the backpack. And this box that houses the laptop and the, it has the serial number as well here what I'm covering and the logo here and it's crisis MSI GX70 crisis so this is the full feature length of my review unboxing of this GX series and there are a lot of logos and for mature 18 all this is for crisis 3 not for the laptop okay you can get the laptop even though you are less than 18 years old this 18 peggy is for european european market type of uh, rate rated or <coughs> more akin towards games and movies and you can see the nano suit I played the first game and it couldn't run, I mean, it was on uh, very, very, <coughs> very, very low specs on my 7800 GTX Evesham laptop that I bought in Britain, yep, and I did not experience the full graphical might of that game, the Crisis number 1, 
So I didn't have a good experience and it was just supposedly pretty, which I did not experience at all. But the gameplay is just so-so. It's just a normal shooter. It's nothing to cry home about, nothing to tell your mother about. If your mother is a gamer, that is. Then the side here, and I can see a picture of Europe. So what the fuck? Is this for, for Europe or what? No idea. You see Crytek, EA, the most evil company in America currently, and the rest. Cry Engine is the engine used. Uh, <coughs> so this laptop is purportedly able to run Crisis 3 in the most ultra graphical settings. But it does not mean that it can handle Company of Heroes 2 at the ultra setting because this one, this is a first person shooter, it might use the GPU more than the CPU and we know that this laptop comes with A10 uh, CPU rich land and it is not as good as maybe or similar to the i3 <coughs> that's what I've been reading in the forums about this A10 CPU so let's get cracking and take out this cover this is actually just a cover the box the real box is inside this is just a cover so bear with me the real box, it's the top player, top choice, killer and keyboard by Steel Series. Too bad I didn't get the headphones by Steel Series as well. Or was it the mouse? Oh god knows. So this box, same logo, same cover and it comes with the same serial numbers and stuff. So we have to make sure that all the serial numbers of this box and the box, outer box and whatever box is the same to make sure they haven't tampered with it. So, so when when it is open, this should be pristine. This this here, this round thing here, that's the seal of approval, which has already been opened because the guy, IE, opened it in front of my eyes. So let's get cracking here, open this thing, the seal of approval. Mm. This reminds me of a very slim, very thin, perfect weight Gundam. This has got the same length of it, but it's very, very thin. I better put it down. laptop here which is enclosed with a polymer mesh or something of some sort so I'm going to take out the laptop see what's inside it. So we have a normal very thick cardboard box not like the ones you get from TT Hongli of the Gundam pirated stuff and this one should be the mouse pad because according to the brochure it comes with a mouse pad so let's open it It 
it's a mouse pad or it's an invitation to MSI's marriage to somebody. Hmm. See the approval. Let's gingerly open it without tearing the damn thing. This mouse pad. Hmm, it's rubbery. There are grooves at the uh, at the below surface, and it's a bit polymer plasticky on this side. So this is rubbery, and this is plasticky. This is for your mouse. This one is to adhere to any surface because it's rubbery and a bit sticky. It's pretty good uh, to hold on to any surface. That and fudge. Let's see what the hell is happening. Here we have the power cable that attaches here the pin three pin socket to the whatever power power block power brick sorry. And where is the power brick? And here is the power brick. <coughs> I'm sad. I'm sorry to say that I don't have an iPhone to compare this with because I'm not a believer in Apple products even though they say it's innovative and very sleek design but I just don't like them because it's just too expensive and personally I don't like Steve Jobs because he's an arrogant son of a bitch and I'm glad he's dead. Call me bitter but once you read the book, the autobiography of his, you just hate the guy. He's a brilliant man, he's a brilliant marketer, but he's, he's a brilliant designer, but he's no engineer. He just likes something, put some zen to it and sell it off and market it more expensive than the rest. That's why it's a bit more elitist and all these bullshit Apple products, fuck them. Fuck them all. And I don't know what this is. see I don't know what this is if you know please let me know in the comments below it's like a rubber thing uh, fuck it I don't know so the power brick is as big as from my thumb <coughs> to my uh, jari penunjuk my what do you call pointer is it yep pointer so yeah, the, the RV, he said, he gave me a tip. When you open, when you use the laptop, use it until 20% of its, of its power, then you charge it to 100% in 8 hours or less. Then, I'm going to use this laptop like I always used it. It's going to be like tethered or connected to a power supply to the socket, definitely. But this time... <coughs> I said that you sh I should take out the the power unit that's attached to the laptop so that as not to uh, damage the lithium ion <coughs> battery. <coughs> so now that's one of the tips that he gave me. So hopefully the battery will last for three years or more. As I know, my Eve Sham bought in Britain, they lasted for five years, so, well, and I'm taking this out to reveal, I think, the crisis game. Thank 
let's see what they have. Mm, MSI warranty service book. Quite a thick book. And you have this. Congratulations on the purchase of your AMD product. Redeem your offer for the following game. Crisis 3. What the fuck? Redeem it? You mean you didn't give me a physical disc? What the fuck? That's so fucking unexpected. You mean I have to download the damn thing? God damn it. That's stupid. And what's this? This is a MSI user manual, utilities and drivers. So I didn't expect that I have to download the damn game from the internet. Hmm. I've never downloaded a game from the internet. I mean, for legal. I mean, legal ones, that is. Then, uh, what's this? MSI Notebook Limited Warranty Card. Okay, I don't know what that is. Then, what's this? Notebook Quick Start Guide. Hmm. And hotkey F3 recovery function. This is a poster like thing. I think it unfolds until it's a big piece of shit. I mean, piece of paper. Hmm. Okay, that's new. I did not expect to find no game on a disc. So, that is very, very weird. Oh well. What to do? Sometimes life just gives you something unexpected and you just have to run with it. And now, to get rid of all these things, and I'll show you what that unit looks like. Make sure it's on a disc, MSI. We we are kind of old school. We prefer our discs to digital downloads. So now we have this one and this cardboard here keeps the laptop stable let's put this tripod so you can see properly XPS M1730 with the 8800 GTX SLI that box is gone I wanted to travel from like say Taranga to the south and I was using my friend's car uh, what's his name holy shit fuck German guy Peter yeah Peter Peter and there was like no, not much space because he had a lot of stuff and I have a lot of stuff so I have to sacrifice the box Dell XPS 1730M and it was a big box Bumpy bumpy So this is the polymer encompasses the whole laptop So we open it up to reveal another white polymer like substance with the logo MSI and the dragon and it is recyclable. Hmm. Okay, okay. My hands are a bit dry, so I applied uh, 